lined up for laboratories. Each year, about 3 million animals undergo experiments in the UK. A new survey shows a majority of people now approve of animal research. Seven out of ten believe it's acceptable. That's a record high. Even when most of the public support us, if, if we stay silent, it can seem as if there's a lot of opposition because the animal rights groups are very vocal and they make a lot of noise, so just their voice is being heard. We do need to be more active in running campaigns on the other side. Researchers like Dr Festing say these tests are essential to save human lives. There aren't alternatives at the moment and almost every new medicine, every major vaccine or surgery is developed using animals so there are huge advantages and medical benefits to people and of course to animals as well. But other scientists don't agree. They doubt the value of animal tests. They say the only way to settle the matter is through an independent and transparent scientific evaluation. I believe that in this day and age, we have more sophisticated methods of testing new drugs before they go into humans. I think that we need to move towards more personalised medicine and that it's too difficult to tell in advance which animal tests of the many that can be performed are going to apply to humans. There's no way of knowing in advance. Beyond the scientific dispute, the debate sometimes gets overheated, with animal activists using violence and intimidation. They often clash with police forces and threaten people. I think they are driven to uh, do these extreme things. It's not my way, but I respect, I understand why they are driven to it. Let's put it that way. So, should animal testing stop or should it go on to save human lives? That is the question with no clear answer yet.